Hi, hello, hello. I am Silka, Heart for Art. I teach people step by step how to paint online and in my studio. Welcome to this week's Hearty Tips with Silka. Today I am going to be sharing what I think is the absolute best advice I can give you as an artist. Whether you are wanting to get started learning to paint, whether you have just started and you're just finding your way or whether you've been painting for a while. This advice that I'm going to share today will help you improve your painting and get better results and enjoy it so much more. And and I'm going to tell you how you can get painting tutorials half price. Yay! So you can get more fun, more painting fun, half price. But first, um, the reason I am sharing my best advice with you today uh, is because, well, I will face up, I had to give myself the same advice recently. <laughs> uh, yep, I've been painting for as long as I can remember, as long as I could hold a paintbrush. I've been painting my whole life and I still struggle with some issues myself as well when I'm painting. And the majority of you will have the same issue now later when you've been painting for years as well so if you are new to painting whether you've just started and you maybe you're not getting the results you want you're not happy with the results or maybe you're nervous to even get started all right because you're thinking oh i won't be able to create anything with hanging on the wall or if you've been painting for a while and you're still finding that sometimes you're not happy with what you're creating all right this advice that i'm going to share with you today is for you all right, and it will help you not only create better paintings, it will also help you get way more creative enjoyment out of the process. All right, say hi as you come on. Let me know who's here, who's joining me today, um, and where you're joining me from. So now I started painting a couple of weeks ago, and <laughs> um, the, the reason I'm sharing this basically, and I actually stopped about a third of the way through the painting I was creating because I didn't like it. I didn't think it was working and I didn't think it was going in the direction. Uh, and I still haven't finished it. This is this is it. I'll show it to you. This is a I'm trying to redevelop another diptych that I was working on. And I just didn't think it was going where I wanted to. And I was a bit upset with myself. Well, not upset with myself, but I got a bit frustrated because I was like, ah, no, I don't like it. Um, <laughs> some of you may have seen me cheering that I was working on that one um, and that's why it's not finished because I got frustrated but um, essentially you know and, the, and, and then like after I got frustrated and put it to the side someone saw it and went wow that's looking really amazing nice and bright and colorful and I was like huh that made me sort of scratch my head and it reminded me rem I, what the issue was and the issue was that I was too focused on the end result and getting it right. And that made it not fun anymore. All right. And it also reminded me of an incident years and years ago. I used to play a lot of pool. Miss spent youth. We used to play a lot of pool in the in bars and pool halls. And it was great fun. And I got pretty good to the point where I was winning lots. All right. And having fun, just playing with my friends, playing in local competitions you know pub competitions and winning lots and then at one point I met a scout a a pool scout and he invited me to essentially take part in the national championships and I got all excited like oh I must be good I'll go and play in the nationals and I lost I lost terribly I played so badly and I realized afterwards that was because it suddenly became serious it suddenly got serious. The results mattered, all right? Stay with me. I'm going somewhere here. The results mattered suddenly and the fun was gone. And, you know, and I realized I was only good at playing pool when I was relaxed and enjoying it and it didn't matter. So the first thing I want to tell you, the same thing is true of painting. The first thing I want to tell you and remind you of is to remember that the results don't matter. When you're painting, I'll repeat that, the results don't matter. Just remind yourself of that. Remind yourself to stop trying to get your paintings perfect. Don't get hung up on the results because there's no actual consequences, all right? Um, you know, if you paint something that you're not happy with, it doesn't matter. There are no consequences. The world will not end. 
uh, you know, you don't have to show it to anyone. No one is scoring you on it. And if you really don't like what you've painted, you can always paint over it and try again. All right. So it doesn't matter. It's important to just get started. All right. You will not get it right first time. Um, you know, if you're painting your first painting, I mean, with me showing you step by step, you'll get a beautiful painting. But if you're painting on your own, um, you will not get it right first time. Unless you're a savant, you know, and you're completely art gifted, um, chances are you're going to make some mistakes and you'll do some things that you won't be happy with. Um, but it's like, remember when you're learning to read, you don't know all the words. First time you try and read a book, you're going to get some, well, you wouldn't start on a book, but you're going to get some letters and some words wrong. It doesn't matter. You just keep reading and you learn more words the more you read all right so now painting is exactly the same the more you paint the more you learn the better you get at it so imagine how much more fun how much more you would enjoy painting if you just relax take the pressure off yourself and just enjoy being creative stop it being so serious all right when you're painting you know your art will get so much better i promise you when you stop trying to get everything perfect just trust the process and relax and enjoy it. All right. So advice, best advice I can give you is that the end result does not matter. All right. The world isn't going to end if you paint something that you don't like so much and you can fix it and try again. And chances are you will actually like it more. I'll get to that when you just relax and enjoy the process. Um, tip number two, get painting. Start painting. If you're new, if you're just getting started, um, you know, you wouldn't, it's, it's like you wouldn't even learn to read a book or you wouldn't even learn to read if you never picked up a book, right? So if you never pick up a paintbrush, you will never learn to paint. Um, so if, you, if you're wanting to get started, pick up a paintbrush. Just go, go start, go try anything. Just put some paint on the canvas. It'll be all right. Uh, if you've already started, Get painting more. Every time you paint, you will learn something new. Same as reading. You know, the more you read, the more words you learn, the more sentences you learn, um, things like that. Or when, like, I first picked up a pool cue, I didn't, I was no good, but the more I played, the better I got, all right? So same is true for painting. The more you paint, the more you will learn. You'll, you'll learn new color combinations that you like. You'll learn new brush techniques, stroke styles, painting styles even, all sorts. There's so much you can learn every time you paint. Um, every time, every painting I teach, there's something new to learn as well. I teach new tip, trips and, oh, I can even say that, tricks and tips, tips and tricks. Every time, there's no end to what you can learn. Every time you paint, you will learn something new, even if it's just your own preference of color choices. Um, you know, if you're just painting for fun, awesome, you get it. But if you want to paint and improve your skills, get painting, and get painting often. So that is my second tip, all right? You will learn new things every time you paint, and you will get better the more you paint, okay? Um, a tip number three, excuse me. Best advice I can give you, tip number three, is don't be such a harsh critic on yourself. We all do it. We all do it. There's a reason there's a saying we are our own worst critics, because we all do it. And I'm pretty confident that every artist has done the same thing. All right. And I would hazard a guess to say that the majority of the time our paintings, you know, when we're painting, the majority of the time our paintings are actually great. And we're just being way too critical on ourselves because we're trying to get it perfect. Like I mentioned before, if you showed it to someone else, you know, if you're thinking, oh, it's not good and you showed it to someone else, chances are they're going to say, wow, that's really good. Like what happened with my painting? Um, because they they don't look at every tiny detail and every brush stroke. They don't see the imperfections, you know, the same way that we as artists look at our paintings. Um, you know, they we, they look at the painting as a whole, and it works. They're not nitpicking the details. They just enjoy how it all comes together, and they look at the painting as a whole. So don't be so judgmental of your own work. More than likely, it is probably better than you think it is all right my fourth tip is that enough yep fourth tip is to trust the process and push past the ugly stage all right 
almost every single painting has what I refer to as an ugly stage. That's that stage when you're halfway through the painting or a third of the way through and you're thinking, oh, no, it's not working. This is not looking right. This is never going to be a beautiful work of art. And then you're thinking, oh, no, I can't do this. Boom. The fun is gone. The pressure's on. And you want to give up like I did a few weeks ago. I must admit. Even I do it, see? But if you think about the fact that very few things look good, half finished. All right? You wouldn't wear a dress that's only got the pattern cut out and it's pinned together. You know, it's still got all those rough edges. It's not finished. You wouldn't wear it, right? And it wouldn't look good. Nor would you eat a meal that's half cooked because that's not only going to not look good, it's probably going to be bad for you, especially if there's meat involved. But when they're finished, you're like, wow, look at that beautiful dress and yum, look at that stunning meal and tasted good. The same is true for paintings. You need to trust the process and not judge it till it's finished, all right? It will not look right until it's finished, until all the pieces come together and work together for good. Um, and and they, they always do. It's, all, it's, it's almost, it's often like, oh, I'm taking a guess at it here, but 80% of the way through your painting, then you're starting to put all the finishing touches on it, and then it all comes together and looks amazing at the end. But until you get to that point where you're putting those finishing touches and bringing it all together, it's going to look weird and you think it's not working. There is always a strange, ugly stage of a painting where it's where it's unfinished and it doesn't look good. You have to trust the process and know that it will work in the, in the end. Like I shared earlier, I did the same thing. I got a third of the way through my painting and I, I and I only saw the unfinished painting, this one right here. And I got frustrated and disappointed. I was thinking this isn't working. And then I reminded myself about the ugly stage, the unfinished stage of a painting. And I just parked it, still parked under the table. <laughs> and I will come back to it. And I know I will move past that and I will finish it. What I did instead is this, I just parked it got myself a fresh canvas, told myself to loosen up and not take it so seriously, not try to get everything so perfect, and I started another painting, and I finished the day with a painting I love. You may have seen it. It's the sunset wave. So that one came out of my frustration of giving up. So that my sunset wave, which I'm teaching online. Whoops. Saturday, this coming Saturday. Um but yeah, so that's that's my fourth tip. So let me just sum up what I told you today. Um, 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 first tip is remember that the results don't matter. All right. It's not so much about the results of, of the end result. If you just focus on having fun and enjoying the process, you will get a painting that you love. If you loosen up and just relax into it, you're more you will your art will get so much better. Um, when you stop trying to get everything perfect, all right? You'll just relax, trust the process, and you will enjoy it and get a much more beautiful painting. So advice tip number one, remember that the results don't matter. It's the process of it that will get you better results. Tip number two, best advice I can give you, get painting. The best way to learn anything is to do it more. If you have never picked up a paintbrush, you can't learn without picking up a paintbrush, so get started. Uh, if you have started and you're getting frustrated, paint more often, you know, get painting more. The more you paint, the more you will learn, the better your art will get, all right? The same way, like I said, with reading, you can't learn to read without picking up a book. The more books you read, the more words you'll learn, the more stories you'll learn, the more genres you'll learn. Same is true with painting. The more you paint, the more things you will learn about painting if you really want to improve your art get painting and paint often you will learn something new every single time you paint and you will get paint better than you will get more better <laughs> the more you paint that's a good sentence you know what i mean right <laughs> tip number three i told you today was don't be such a hard harsh critic on your own work we always over criticize ourselves and judge ourselves way too harshly and chances are what you've created is actually good you know show someone else if you need to show someone else that's why I always make it such an important feature when we do virtual paint parties that everybody shares their paintings with each other because we always judge our own paintings to not be good and then everyone else says wow they look awesome and they are awesome I promise you so don't judge 
yeah, don't be such a harsh critic of your own paintings. That's tip number three. Tip number four, trust the process and push past the ugly stage. Trust that when you have all the pieces in place, your painting will come together and look fantastic. Don't judge it halfway through because it's not finished. It's not finished. Like I said, you wouldn't you wouldn't judge a meal that's half cooked or half served. You wouldn't wear a dress that's half sewn. You know, once it all comes together at the end, once you put the finishing touches on, voila, then your masterpiece will bloom and shine and look fantastic. So tip number four, trust the process and push past the ugly, unfinished stage of a painting. Um, and you will, you will, it'll all come together in the end and look fabulous. Um, so yeah, just that, that, that's honestly, that is the best advice I can give you. I can teach you all the painting tips and all the brush strokes and all the color mixing and all that. If you want that, go check out my blog. That's all there as well. But the best I can advice I can give you is all up here. You know, you got it. You got to just trust that what you're doing is actually good. The results don't matter as much as you think they do. The world won't end if you don't create a beautiful painting and you can always paint over it and start again. Uh, and chances are the painting's better than you think anyway because you're probably judging it too much. Um, and the more you paint, the more you trust the process and push past that, that phase of it not being finished and get to the end painting, the more fun you will have, the more... Um, you know, the more you will learn along the way and your art will get so much better and you'll love it. So I may not have been as articulate as usual, as I am when I'm talking about painting because I am passionate about painting and I love it, but I hope that's helped. Um, pop a comment, say hello. I'm, I'm not seeing any comments coming up yet. I hope you can hear me all right. Um, but let me know if that's helped you and I hope that it's motivated you. Let me know if it's motivated you um, because my drive always is to help you experience the joy of being creative more all right so my goal is always to help you get started painting if you haven't yet or improve your skills if you have um so that you can get the most out of painting and create paintings you love you can enjoy the process not get frustrated and just create beautiful paintings um now if you're excited about painting right now if i've got you motivated Yay, I hope I have, because painting is awesome. Painting is so good for the soul. It fills your heart with happy. Um, but if you want to get painted, get started painting, like now, straight away, I want to encourage you to join me for a painting class. You know, if you need some help getting started. Hi, Jeanette. Um, oh, thanks. Sometimes, like I said earlier on, sometimes I need to encourage myself too. We all suffer these things. And if, if that's you and you're going through it, you are not alone. It is something that we all struggle with often. Um, so I'm glad you found that encouraging. Thank you for the feedback, Jeanette. I like that. Um, but yes, I do. If you haven't started painting yet or if you want to paint more, I encourage you to join a painting class, even if it's not mine, but um, any painting class, just get painting and you'll love it, all right? You're welcome to join me online or in the studio. I will help you step-by-step step to create your own masterpiece right from the start to the finish. And as I mentioned at the beginning, and you may have read in the post, I currently have my on-demand painting tutorials half price at the moment. Yay, when you grab two or more. Exciting, because I want you to get started. You can grab yourself a nice, easy to follow painting tutorial with me. I'll show you step by step. I'll show you exactly how to create your painting from start to finish. And it only takes a few hours. And best of all, you don't need any experience. Anyone can do them, I promise you. Uh, all my tutorials, if you've painted with me before, you'll know they all come with a full color list, supply list. So you know exactly what brushes and paints and everything. So you don't need to do any guessing or figuring out what you need. And you get a step by step video. So you can paint and pause and just paint at your own pace from the comfort of home, essentially. Um, so I've put a short link there um, for you, but essentially heartforart.co.nz, if you're going straight to my website, it's on-demand tutorials in the menu, but um, there's the short link there if you want to follow that. There's loads of painting tutorials there to choose from. I'm loading new ones all the time. If you're watching this on replay a year later, there'll be even more. I'm just I'm loading new ones as I can. Um, but they're all easy to do. You can choose um, and get 
you'll get them straight to you. As soon as you get it, you get it straight to your inbox and you can start painting straight away. Um, I will pop the link in the comments for you once I'm done here as well. But I wanted to show you a few. Um, actually, oh, there's some on the wall. But, oh, there's, some, there's one there. Look, these ones. They're on demand. Castle Point. Yeah, yeah. Castle Point. Kiwi Summer. The Pahutakawa. They're all on demand. Uh, where are some more? Let me see if I can find some more for you. Um, oh, yes. This, this one's super popular. The flowers. The Field of Flowers. That is it. Oh, I've had so much fun painting that one. And I think I may even add a few bluebells and extra stuff in the tutorial as well that's not on the painting. Um, oh, whoops, Kiwi Starry Night is also a hugely popular one. Um, of course, with our Southern Cross added in there. And this is what Starry Night would have looked like if um, Van Gogh lived in New Zealand um, with the Pudakawa trees and batches and stuff <laughs> that's a hugely popular one we've had some awesome results with that and this i love this one bright and colorful this one's popular too just bright and colorful and easy and i show you how to sketch it and paint it and what colors to use in fact you can use any colors you want on any of these paintings they're all super fun and super easy um and they're great for beginners or painters at any level all right if you just want to learn some new skills like I said every tutorial every painting I teach there's something new that I share in the tutorial that you can learn and each one only takes like a few hours so you'll have your finished painting and you can do it in the morning or an afternoon or in the evening yay and you'll have a beautiful painting to hang on the wall so you can have a ton of fun practicing learn loads of new painting skills and techniques um and have beautiful paintings at the end um I just I really want to help you unlock the fun of painting if you're feeling stuck so you can enjoy your painting more your painting time more and and create beautiful art um please don't stay stuck don't don't you know don't stay stuck in that criticism phase of oh I'm not good this is not working or getting frustrated or you know I don't want you to stay stuck I want you to get results that you're happy with all right um so you can grab two or more of my on-demand painting tutorials before Tuesday the 14th of December uh, and you will get them half price yay so you will get twice the painting practice twice the painting fun for half price awesome so it's two or more you can grab two or more of my painting tutorials before Tuesday the 14th of December which is not very long away and you will get them half price and they will go straight to your inbox and you can start painting straight away right now in your pajamas from the comfort of home um so follow the link down there um that is the quick short link um or head over to heartforart.co.nz and you'll find on-demand tutorials in the menu but go grab your painting tutorials before tuesday next week and have a ton of fun have a ton of fun learning heaps of stuff having fun painting uh, and if there's anyone else you know who would benefit from a bit of a my, my four advice tips um, or even some on-demand tutorials um, just to boost their confidence and get cheaper tutorials, please do pass it on. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then you'll see all future painting tips and tutorials and heads up, heads up. I'm going to do a free Christmas tree painting tutorial next week. It's Christmas. And last year I did a Christmas gnome. That's on my blog as well if you want to go and paint that one. Uh, but next week I will be showing you how to paint a Christmas tree. And it will be a free tutorial right here on my Heart for Art page and on YouTube as well. So be sure to follow my Facebook page or subscribe to my channel to see that and any future painting tips. Uh, meanwhile, thank you for joining me today, if you did, uh, or you're watching on replay. Hi. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and you found my tips useful. Honestly, it's the best advice I can give you. When you get past all of those things, a whole new world of creativity will open up for you and you will enjoy it so much more. So thanks for joining me. Keep an eye out for next week's episode of Hearty Tips with Silka, where I'll show you how to paint a Christmas tree. <gasps> Looking forward to painting with you again soon and helping you create beautiful art. Thanks, guys. Bye.